tafadhali tunaweza kuketi chini panteni the governing council of KC National Polytechnic lecturers and tutors parents students graduates distinguished guests and distinguished guests distinguished ladies and gentlemen good afternoon hamjambo bari njombo ya more buya more naende nyasae no muya chinga kichionzi Mulembe Eh Chamge Eh Amoso ujo durwa Enda subabogi Na hiyo ingine yote mingi Bwana Yesu wasifiwe Asanteni sana I arrive here today with a deep sense of pride. My pride stems from the 1,200 plus young people who are gathered here today to celebrate their exit from this institution and the beginning of their contribution to our great nation. I am also immensely proud of this institution and this day which represents a vindication of our single-minded focus as Jubilee government to expand the scope and capacity of technical training institutions in Kenya. Tafadhali keti chini nitakuona baadaye my friend. Yeah. A few years ago if you did not qualify for university education of the high school your chances of a productive life were written off and we ended up with hundreds of thousands of young people failing in or falling in between the cracks with their potential and capacity for growth similarly falling down the drain when we were elected we set about changing the narrative of loss and despair and it is no surprise to see that enrollment to vocational and technical training institutions doubled from 127,000 in 2012 to 275,000 in 2017 it is also no surprise to learn that tivet funding has hit record high under the jubilee administration from 2017 an additional 130000 students have enrolled in tibet to bring the 2019 figure to 363000 students we have also provided through this through the higher education loans board money for student tuition and upkeep to the tune of 40000 per student per year distinguished guests ladies and gentlemen the growth of this institution which was made a national polytechnic by the jubilee administration closely monitor uh, mirrors the national trend enrollment has grown from 3000 when it was an institute of technology in 2016 to 11600 currently out of which 5200 are male and 6400 are female this institution is an institution with a big difference it is the only institution where i have found more women than men in college Congratulations to the ladies. 
This has exceeded the set target of 10,000 trainees for each of our 10 national polytechnics. The polytechnics has 200, this polytechnic has 240 trainers, of which 130 are public service trainees and 107 are council trainees. We are not yet done. Over 130 new technical training institutions are in various stages of construction and completion. And we have recruited, in the last three months, we have recruited an additional 2,000 trainers to work in these institutions. We are in the process of concluding the hiring of another 1,000 trainers in the next one month to bring to 3,000 trainers that will be available for our TVET institutions. I listened very carefully to the statement made by the principal of this college about the number of trainers or lecturers in this institution, and I want to state that of those being hired, 15 trainers, new trainers, will be sent to Kisi National Polytechnic. In collaboration with the African Development Bank, the Ministry of Education is successfully funding projects in Tibet institutions. The mechanical workshop in this institution that has costed us in the region of 170 million is a prime example. Similarly, the ministry has sponsored the training of staff in engineering that is ongoing at Dayton Kimathi University of Science and Technology. Technology or technical and vocational education is at the heart of the Kenya we want to build. All our goals in agriculture, in manufacturing, housing, technology, all depend on building a labor force with the required skill set. The big idea is to ensure we do not lose generations of talent because of an obsession with white collar jobs. The big idea is to create a talent pool that can serve the needs of industry and our flagship economic programs, such as the housing pillar, our value addition, our agro-processing, our manufacturing, and our industrialization plan. We want to create a generation of competent individuals who can bring quality skills into the marketplace and as service providers. We have not yet achieved full transition from secondary to higher education, but this year's academic placement to Tibet institutions is on course and has hit the 200,000 mark by the end of this year, which will double the number of those admitted to the university. This is progress and this is change. Human capital is the critical and often understated ingredient for our economic planning and development. This is why we need to intensify the capacity of our institutions to produce quality professionals of all cadres and stripes. Vision 2030 and the Big Four agenda will rely on this skill set to reach fruition to the talented and brilliant young people graduating today. Welcome to the Kenyan Society of Workers. There is a place for you if you are willing to work hard, if you are creative, and if you are innovative. If you are willing to take a risk, start a business or a project, there is a good chance your community will support you but you must bring your very best to the table. 
Today may mark the end of your certificate or diploma education, but it does not mark the end of your learning. Indeed, it may be argued that learning has just but begun. You will find people out there who are better, faster, and more efficient than you. Learn from them, learn their secrets, and beat them at their game. You will also find those who are slower, inefficient, and wasteful. Learn from them too. Avoid their mistakes. Today's marketplace is about solving problems, and you cannot prepare for this with textbooks. We are talking about creating new tools to solve everyday problems. It is about applying practical skills to tackle major challenges like global warming, water shortage, or public health crisis. The problem may be global, but the solutions must be local. If you can help your village sort out an irrigation issue, or a water harvesting problem, or whatever problem is affecting their quality of life, you will be making a big change in the world. When you do not get employed, give your best. Sorry. When you do get employed, give your best. Do not show up for work drunk or do not be lazy. If you do not, work, if you do not ask, if you do not know, ask. There is no shame in admitting that you don't know. To the parents and guardians here today, let us support our young people. Let us encourage them and push them to go even further. I want to congratulate the Kisi National University for embracing best practice in service delivery, which is evident through the adoption of performance contracting and ISO 901 2015 certification. Congratulations. Let me, however, say a few things in response to what some of the issues that have been raised by both the chair and the principal of this great institution. And to speak to this very large gathering of graduates, students, parents, guardians, and Kenyans from every walk of life. I have a few things to say, and as I have said, maybe I should do this in Kiswahili. Vizuri. Chuo hi ya Kisi National Polytechnic, 2016, ilikuwa na wanafunzi elfu tatu. Na ilikuwa na matatizo mengi. Lakini tuliamua kama serikali ya jubilee ya kwamba ili kutatua tatizo la ukosefu wa kazi katika taifa letu la Kenya lazima tufanye mambo mawili ya muhimu jambo la kwanza tuhakikishe ya kwamba vijana wa taifa letu la Kenya wako na elimu na wako na training ambayo inawapatia the relevant skills and competences Na wakati tulichukua usukani, watoto wengi walikuwa wanasoma katika polytechnic kama hii. Walikuwa wanalipa karo pesa nyingi kuliko wale watoto wanaenda university. Na ndio tuliamua ya kwamba lazima tupunguze garama ya masomo katika polytechnics zetu na Tibet institutions katika taifa letu la Kenya. That is why the first thing we did was to increase the capitation that is paid for by government of Kenya from what was then around 17,000 to 30,000 shillings per student. We also made it possible, and I want to tell parents that it is now possible for you as a parent 
to get your child to apply for higher education loans, like the way students apply when they go to university, if they are learning in Kisi National Polytechnic or any other Tibet in Kenya. The second item we decided was we must have a plan to create jobs for the millions of young people in our nation. We can talk about unemployment as much as we want, but if we do not have a credible, practical plan on how to create jobs, we will continue to sing the song of unemployment forever. And that is why I want you people here in this polytechnic and elsewhere in our country to listen very carefully. Because unless we walk together, we will continue to speak about our problems. It is time we began to discuss about our solutions, not our problems. Tunaelewana? Na ndiyo mimi nataka niwaulize hawa vijana ambao leo wana graduate na wengine wana graduate katika colleges tofauti tofauti katika taifa letu la Kenya sisi kuweka pesa nyingi katika masomo ya technical training masomo ya kujifundisha ufundi na teknolojia ni kwa sababu tunatambua ya kwamba ili tuweze kuendesha mambo ya maendeleo katika taifa letu la Kenya lazima vijana wanaomaliza form 4 wote tuwatafutie namna wao waende wasomee ufundi na teknolojia vile wanasomea katika college hii ya Kisi National Polytechnic ndio tuwapatie nafasi ya kupata skills competences ujuzi na ufundi na teknolojia ndio waweze kutusaidia katika kuendesha mipango ya maendeleo ya taifa letu la Kenya kuanzia ile mipango ya Vision 2030 mpango ya Big Four kama ni mambo ya kuzalisha chakula na kutumia chakula kufanya agro processing na value addition na manufacturing tunahitaji vijana maelfu ambao wako na ujuzi wa kufanya kazi katika hizo vitengo ya agro processing ya value addition ya manufacturing vijana maelfu watapata hiyo masomo katika college kama hii ya Kisi National Polytechnic because we need men and women with skills and competencies to drive our agro processing value addition manufacturing industrialization plan and that is why we are investing these resources that is why we are building our tvets across the country and that is why we are financing students to participate and to be in colleges like Kisi National Polytechnic sijui kama tunaelewana jambo la pili ili tuweze kutatua tatizo la ukosefu wa kazi na mimi naelewa na sisi kama serikali ya jubilee tunaelewa saa hizi kuna mjadala nani atapata kazi sijui ni vijana sijui ni wazee mimi nataka niwaeleze hivi we want to get over that debate we are having a discussion about age because we haven't created sufficient jobs for young people and as an administration we have laid the foundation for the creation of millions of jobs for our young people the reason why we invested heavily in infrastructure the reason why we invested heavily for the last five years in energy and the reason why we have been investing in training of our young people is because these are the ingredients our transport system our energy and our human resource are the ingredients necessary to be able to drive our development plan and create the necessary jobs for millions of young people in our nation 
Why do I say so? Na mimi nataka munisikize tena vizuri. Ukiona plan ya Big Four. Tumesema tunataka mpango wa kuzalisha chakula. Na sio kuchalisha chakula peke yake ya tumbo. Tunataka kuzalisha kilimo itupatie chakula na vile vile itupatie products ambazo tutafanya nazo agro processing value addition export manufacturing kwa sababu pale ndio tutapata nafasi za kazi kwa vijana wetu ukiona maneno ya universal health coverage vile vile na nimesoma hapa pia tuko na vijana wana graduate from health sciences today from Kisi National Polytechnic it is because we are looking for the human resource that will drive our universal health coverage agenda ukiona maneno ya housing zile nyumba nusu milioni ambazo tumesema tunataka kujenga kila mwaka ukifanya calculation nyumba 1500 kila mwaka tunahitaji vijana watano kujenga nyumba moja kumaanisha kujenga nyumba 1500 kila mwaka Kenya tunahitaji vijana milioni mbili na nusu Two and a half million young people must participate for us to actualize our 500,000 housing units every year in Kenya. And among majority of the two and a half million young people who should participate in our housing plan should come and must come from our Tibet institutions. We need plumbers, we need masons, we need electricians, we need carpenters, we need all manner of skills that will drive our civil engineering, that will drive our housing plan. And the reason is that we have six and a half million young people, no, sorry, six and a half million Kenyans who are living in informal settlements. And we have to give them decent housing, from social housing to affordable housing, to normal housing. Tunaelewana jameni. So I want to assure the young people of our nation. I want to assure the young people of our nation that the Jubilee administration has a plan, credible plan to make sure that we engage the millions of young people that we will be getting out of our training institutions to have meaningful jobs because that is the way we are going to transform our nation. Let me give you an example. Here in Kisi, we are already in discussion with the Kisi County government. Now, Governor, Deputy Governor Yuko Hapa. We have asked them to give us the land that we will want to build the first 3,000 houses for Kisi town. And let me give you simple statistics. For us to build 3,000 houses in Kisi town to support our housing, problem, uh, our housing program and to make sure that people in Kisi are not continuing to subdivide their land for settlement. For us to build 3,000 houses, we need five young people per house. Therefore, we need 15,000 young people from Kisi County to work on that program. And we need them from a variety of skills, from plumbers, from electricians, from masons, from carpenters, and all the other skills in between for us to run that program. The housing program in Kisi will not only give us decent housing for the people of Kisi town, it will also give us the opportunity to dissuade citizens from continuously subdividing agricultural land and using it for settlement. And we will begin to give young people alternatives for them to settle in major towns as we sort out the challenge of informal settlements in our major towns. That is the plan. There is no guesswork. We have to have a plan if we have to sort out the problem of unemployment in our nation. And that is why we are telling the young people of our, of our nation, each one of you, 
you lazima mjipange kazi ya vijana sio kupiga makelele ama kupiga mayowe ama kupiga makofi kazi yenu ni kujipanga ukuje tivet hapa usome upate skill kwa sababu the next 5 10 15 40 years we have something for you to do for yourselves for your, your nation and for the transformation of our country tunaelewana and that is why i came here so that parents can understand that they have made the right decision to bring these young people to this great institution called Kisi National Polytechnic and all the other uh, Tibet institutions around the country. Let me say a few things about this college. This college, in the last four years, we have invested 450 million in this college to develop the infrastructure of this college we have world class facilities in this college and we want citizens from this region to benefit from the use of the facilities we have put up in this college and aside from this college we are building another seven or so institutions uh, tibet not at this level at a slightly lower level in various constituencies in Kisi County. As you've heard Alpha say, in uh, Bomachoge, we have completed, we are installing equipment, and in January, we will begin admission. As you have heard Osoro say, we have committed another 100 million shillings for South Mugirango. The college will be complete in the next two months, and we will bring equipment so that again by January, we have admissions in South Mugirango. And we have another seven in various constituencies in this Kisi and Yamira County. And so it is important for the people from this region and outside this region to take advantage of these training facilities because you will be preparing yourselves for what is coming in the next one to 40 years as we implement our transformation plan. I know that uh, there is no street lighting in this college. I will instruct the Ministry of Energy to have proper street lighting around this institution and inside the institution so that we can have some decency around here, especially in the evenings. I will also get the Ministry of Roads I have seen the roads here. Nyingi ni zamatope hapa ndani ya college. So hizo barabara za hapa ndani ya college tutawatengenezea na tutawawekea lami vizuri ndio wanafunzi waziwe wanachanganya matope wakati wanaenda darasani. Vile vile mumetuambia kuhusu matatizo ya ardhi. I want to give you my undertaking that we will sort out the challenges you have between this institution and the coffee research uh, institution so that we can find an amicable solution to facilitate the expansion of this college and what is going on as well with our tea research. I have said that we will hire an additional 15 lecturers for this institution in the next one month so that they can take charge of what is going on in this, uh, in this college. Finally, I know that uh, this college have the intention together with the member of parliament for this constituency to start Nyaguta campus. Let me state here that we have now cleared with the CDF and by Friday this week the first 10 million shillings will be available and therefore Mr. Principal you can proceed next week and do the groundbreaking for Nyaguta campus which will be a campus of this college so that we can create more space for young people in this college to learn. 
nimesema college ya Nyaguta ambayo haiko mbali kutoka hapa tutatengeneza campus na serikali kupitia CDF tumetoa shilingi milioni kumi ya kwanza ili kuanzisha college hiyo na nimemwambia principal atumekubaliana tayari wamefanya procurement wamepatia contractor eh, kandarasi na mimi nataka ianze next week tuanze kujenga so that in a couple of months we can have a campus that can support this institution to further the learning of young people in this area ningependa vile vile kusema and uh, i have talked with the principal and the chair an all tibet institution all tibet institutions in kenya from january we want to transit all tibet institutions to competence based learning and examination i want to repeat i want tiveta and sidak and the department the state department of tibet to ensure that all polytechnics and tivets from january transit to competence based learning and final examinations from january next year we now have tunaelewana we now have enough infrastructure to support competence based learning we are hiring another 3000 lecturers to ensure that competence based learning succeeds and we have developed all the necessary infrastructure in terms of courses and examinations and to bring industry on board to support competence based learning and the reason is the following number 1 we want to reduce the amount of time students take in tivet institutions there is no reason why somebody should spend 3 years in kisi national polytechnic for a course that they can finish in 18 months we want also there is absolutely no reason why students should take 15 months for a course that they can finish in 9 months and we also want to ensure that there are a multiplicity and modular courses that can take 3 months 6 months 9 months 12 months up to 15 months for students to continuously upgrade their learning without having to spend all the time in college so you come at naelewana and therefore we will be i will be having a meeting with all the principals with the department state department of tivet with tiveta the authority with sidak the examination body in the next two weeks so that we can agree on the roll out of competence based learning to reduce the amount of time students spend in college and to make sure that the courses are focused they spend less time and they train for the skills that they are looking for and we remove all the unnecessary baggage and other issues that are not necessary for students to carry as they complete their education sijui kama tumekubaliana watu wa kisi national polytechnic tumekubaliana that is hiyo ndio maneno tunataka tufanye na tunataka kuhakikisha ya kwamba wengi wa wanafunzi ambao wanachukua sasa miaka mitatu kumaliza course wanaweza kuchukua mwaka moja na nusu na hiyo course iwe imemalizika na ndio tunasema tukihama kutoka course ambayo inasimamiwa na Kenya National Examination Council twende kwa ile examination itasimamiwa na SIDAC tutaweza kupunguza muda wanafunzi wanakaa katika college 
na tuongeze muda ambao watafanya na industry katika kuhakikisha kwamba ile skills wanatafuta masomo na ujuzi wanatafuta ya ufundi na teknolojia wanapata kwa muda mfupi na hiyo ni kazi tayari tumekubaliana na wale wanaosimamia mambo ya Tivet katika taifa letu la Kenya tumeelewana jameni tuko pamoja bas mimi sitaki kusema kuzidi hapo mimi nataka niwashukuru na niseme ya kwamba nimefurahi sana kufika hapa Kisi National Polytechnic nilikuwa natamani sana kufika hapa hata wiki iliyopita wakati tulikuwa tuje hapa ikawa ni tarehe kumi, haikuwezekana na shukuru kamati ya kusimamia college hii wakati niliwapendekezea ya kwamba tufanye kazi hii ya graduation leo walikubali mimi nataka niwaambie wanafunzi wa hapa tunawatakia kila na heri kama serikali na kama wazazi na kama wakenya wenzenu kwamba muko na nafasi ya kuchangia katika transformation ya taifa letu la Kenya and you should have no doubt in your mind that the government and the nation of Kenya has a place for you you just need to up your game and we will all be moving together with those many remarks congratulations my very best wishes and good luck as you uh, join the rest of the working nation of Kenya asanteni sana and god bless you